pure dead body that after processing that is a mummy being more like a catalogus. So those catalogus are actually preserved in the coins which we descend the open up, we observe all the coins details with the naked eyes and we will take the specimens and take a microscopic scratch with the slides. So slides are then we will observe the microscopic detail with the microscope. And that's all about the human anatomy. We will be teaching you all the human anatomy. So before going into the decision classes, maybe we will organize this category of ceremony. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So I want to give all the children to present their own children. So it's a great sacrifice, it's a great donation. They are Mahara. You know that? Okay. So with that knowledge we need to make, with that knowledge we gain, that will help you to write a book. You may become surgeons, you may become orthopedicians, or pathologists, gynecologists, radiologists. Whatever branch you go, you will actually have to gain those structures, the details of the human body. So these people who have donated the body, we should always be respectful and we should always, always be able to carry it with our permission. Secure that basic, uh, whatever specimens we handle in the body parts, we should be, you know, we maintain the virus in the body. We should maintain the virus. And one thing they do when you get to the body is to the body. They should be able to get to the body. When you push to the area, it should be covered. When you expose, expose the related portion, like you do in surgery, in a body, you always should expose the related portions to be able to dissect the body. The rest of the body should be covered. And when you come out of the dissection, when you come with the dissection, then you should break the body parts. And remember one thing is, drops that they can easily dry up. So what we can do is we can keep red water to pass over to those exposed parts. If you can take the meaning of the father in the session class. These bodies after that, they go into the oil and high tanks. They are tanks in the family. They get bathed in them. They get in the tanks. And every day they will come for the session. They will not have those tanks. So this is what I have to do. I have to do this. And sometimes or other time, some day or other time, Tell you about the. I will tell you about the process of donation of the body. How these bodies are being donated. What the procedure for body donation. And another is the procurement of a dead body. How do you procure a dead body? The layman's people who there are two sources of procurement of a dead body. One is the donation thing. Up the section one. We are going to organize this category of surgery. Okay. Thanks for moving. This oath is actually in honor and respect for those who have donated the bodies for the science. So to pay respect and gratitude, we are going to take this cadaveric oath. I will say it out loud. You will have to repeat after me. When I say I, you will say your name after that. Right? So just, so all of you raise your right hand like this. Okay, so let's read it out. I. I. A student of MBBS first prof of Narayana Medical College and Research Center, Kanpur, do solemnly pledge that I will always remain obliged to your kind and and courageous act of donating your body for the purpose of learning the medical science. I will respect and regard you forever 
एज माई स्पेशल टीचर हु इन हिज और हर्स साइलेंस विल गाइड मी टू लर्न द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी आई विल बी ग्रेटफुल टू यू एंड योर फैमिली फॉर द बिलोवेंट एक्ट which facilitates my requisition of knowledge for the service of this society and mankind in all my deeds from now onwards i will do justice to your great sacrifice i will always respect your privacy and confidentiality and will treat you with dignity of highest order i will ensure that your soul will remain in absolute peace during my journey of medical education and its application which i would achieve through you let there be let there be peace 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 good i hope you will follow this for your entire medical curriculum and thereafter also so we need to respect cadavers while handling while dissecting from from tomorrow onward we will start the dissection classes now okay good thank you